all know the kind of narrative that goes out of Africa and Nigeria, especially what we say about ourselves and all the impression that the Western media carried about, about Nigeria and Africa. So we decided to focus on the next generation of young men or professionals, early career, and those who are still in the university or in, in their training institutions. So in the course of the five years, we have been privileged to train about 3,000, about 3,500 mass comm students across Nigeria. We have been privileged to train over 200 freelance journalists and change of the impact. And to God be the glory this year, we have the privilege of a specialized training. We run four for them. Uh, we have the media entrepreneurship because we believe that if the jobs are not there, why they are still in the university, we can prepare them so that they can begin to think along the entrepreneurial value. So we had the privilege of training about 27 freelance students, communication students, to become media entrepreneurs. And some of them are here today. The Honorable Commissioner would like that I point out two very vital uh, roles that the media has to play when it comes to sustaining democracy in Nigeria. You will all agree with me that as the fourth realm of the health state, we hold a sacred responsibility to shape the conversation and the discourse as it affects democracy and the sustenance of democracy in Nigeria. Sometimes the political activists or the politicians would like to shift the conversation sometimes to things that are not so relevant. But as professionals, it's our duty to redirect the narrative in the proper shape and course it should go so that we don't miss out on the salient and important discourse that we should be having at this time. So the media is the supervisor of the social contracts that democracy gives to us. All of us cannot be in Abuja or in the state out in Lagos, so we decided to send some representatives there. However, these representatives need to be supervised, we need to supervise their promises to us, we need to follow up on the things that democracy should deliver, and the media is that tool that holds government accountable. We are the informants, we are the educators, but we are also the watchdogs, and this watchdog role is extremely important. We are also the voice of the vulnerable, and we are those who defend the common sanctity of the government and the society that we have. And when we say that we hold authorities accountable, it's not just authorities that are elected, we supervise power dynamics. Having been to situate the roles of the media within this context, and the forthcoming 2023 general election, in order to ensure the achievement of the most expected consolidation of our democracy and good governance. The Independent National Electoral Commission has a statutory organization tasked with the responsibilities of conducting elections in the country, has engaged the media as a critical partner through stakeholders in order to give the widest audience possible to voter awareness, sensitization, and program to processes designed by the Commission to elect a new administration to elected positions come The media has to avoid the following. One of such is hate speech and incited languages. Some of our media stations have their favorites, including state-owned organizations like mine. But media practitioners we are expected to be objective in our reportage. But we know that Nigeria is a very peculiar country. How do you become objective when the owners of your station belong to a party? How do you report without being biased? How do you report without giving preference to whichever party you are aligned to? These are some of the challenges. The media should also avoid sending out fake news. This is a very critical time. Because of the need to make money, enterprise journalism is focusing on lifestyle. 
So how are we supposed to hold um, you know, these candidates accountable when we're focused on other things? So we need to ensure that we tone down on, on conversations that will inflame passions. We need to think in line with, in line with ethnic you know, sentiments rather than what should bind us together. You know, so we need to watch that space as well. The democracy is beyond them. It's beyond the leaders. It's about the citizens. And the citizens must make leaders who are accountable for their offices. They must be accountable. And so when I appear on TV sometimes, and they give me that, those uh, we know you very well, don't talk to this area, I say it's too many. I walk out with the teachers, or I say the reality here, leave me and the government to fight to ourselves. But the truth is that we must talk about what reality here. The truth is that, are we practicing democracy or authoritarian democracy? And, 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 and that's going to define me. And who I blame is the media. Because now I'm going back to the role of media now. The media, there's what they call political economy. That's what they are talking about. Political economy rules the media. What do you about, about that? It's all about economy. It's all about most of them are partisans. Well, LTV, I thank you for what you have said here. But that will be a shift, and I believe that if everybody shifted that same ground, it would be nice. Why are we not having debates? Robot debate. Those politicians don't believe that they're going to have a fair trial. Okay, why has the, the uh, media stereotyping or giving out that only four people, only three parties? They don't know three parties now. That many parties are not three parties. Why media not telling us that there are other parties and invite those people? Maybe people can change their minds. Part of what we do is capacity development for the next generation. And what we've been doing is focus on capacity development. This one that we just have can be that forum is an opportunity to learn and to relearn. And we're grateful for the time that we're doing as why the team is sustainable the role of the media. We want to put in a restoration to know that the media has the role to play in this in any sustainable democracy. And they need to play that very, very well. Otherwise, there will be no democracy, especially in Nigeria, where everything is right. There is all this um, economic factor everywhere. We can, we can run away from it. But the fact is, the profession requires accountability, requires objectivity, requires something to be honest. So, whatever we say, whatever we explain, whatever the level of economic, we shouldn't be influenced by it. And that's what some of us make our hand really emphasize all through today. That whatever you do as a leader person, your objectivity is important and you have to be truthful and you have to be balanced with the